Trump USMCA signing. So I began this story that I'm about ready to relay here, such as it is, with this. This is my Twitter account. It's Frico. Frico tweets. Have no idea whether we poors are better or worse off as a result of this, be it the America, the Canadian, or the Mexican poor. <coughs> this is from the story in The Hill. Breaking. Trump signs new trade deal. We are finally ending the NAFTA nightmare. I guess Trump said that. And my comment such because... I'd like to know, like, what's the score? Now, I am not a economics major, and I don't really have time to really understand fully exactly what this trade deal is or isn't. And I thought, like, how do I get that information? I got a YouTube and Trump USMCA signing. Now, I decided on that because of YouTube, because Trump... And then I entered the, uh, let's see what's going on here. We got, we got signing USMCA. USMCA. You'll see it's basically the same. And you'll notice that it's, it's CBS, Fox News, USA Today, NBC News, Fox 10 Phoenix. It gives us a little notification that said this is top news. So they let you know top news. So you're, you're, it doesn't give you an option, by the way. The option that it does give you, the filter that it gives you is last hour, today, this week, this month, this year. So let's check, um, let's check last hour and let's check today first. And today, for Trump signing USMCA, we have CBS, Fox 10 Phoenix, NBC News, Fox 10 Phoenix, USA Today, CNBC, PBS, Fox, Global, oh, quick take by Bloomberg, France 24, CNBC, NBC. You know, it's interesting. There's a lot of, uh, not even like, I'm not even talking about the the person and camera operation. I'm talking about some folks that are, are, you know, they're independent, but they have some some degree of uh, staff level operation going on, like what Tim Pool's trying to do with this subverse stuff. Uh, those folks, Americans, uh, they're not showing up in favor of operations run by state states like Russia and France and even China. They, they get places in here. But American independents, they don't. YouTube decides. If you're looking for anything there. Now, there was a time until very recently where that was the one loophole. You could still find independent content if you did the filter based on time. But let's check out hourly. Because so far today, they got today on lockdown for this phrase. And there you go. When you go to hourly, that's when people start to still show up. Japan, I don't even know what that is. I don't know whether this is what what level of production, whatever this is. Uh, this looks like a live stream. So Ruptly, Ruptly is, uh, I believe it's a joint venture by a few nations. I don't know which ones in South America. I don't. I, I, I need to learn more about what Ruptly is. Uh, top story today. I don't even know what that is. Uh, there's a this person. Look, no views and this guy shows up. All right. Let's see. Let's see what you got to say. Here today in the South Lawn of the White House for the signing. Damn, of the that's US loud. Mexico, Canada uh, free trade agreement, the USMCA, the new NAFTA, which is set to. That's better. Uh, uh, really set this economy on fire. Uh, uh, looking okay. Over two hundred thousand new jobs. Uh, looking over two hundred thousand new jobs. Platitude, platitude, platitude. America economically. Look at that face. That face looks like his language. It looks like it's, uh, you know, squared off and plasticked off and sanitized off. I mean. I don't know if that's your natural look or if you actually had to get some chiseling to get that effect, but uh, yeah, 
kind of looks like uh, Plastic Man given a uh, plastic song. As we deal with China, it's really exciting. This is a generational trade deal, uh, updating NAFTA that had not been updated since uh, the mid '90s, before the, even the internet was uh, was invented. Lots of people said that uh, this couldn't be done, and uh, pretty fantastic that we got this done. Uh, and and thrilled to work from. That's music in the background. That's probably copyrighted music. This guy's probably going to get a copy strike. His channel's going to get nuked. Or mine is. Better not. I have like 80 subscribers now, so don't mess with me. My position over in Congress to help the administration get this over the finish line. All right, I don't want to watch that. All right, so that's that. Now, well, I mean, that's him. That's that him. Let's see what VOA gives us. Now, uh, a Voice of America, this is supposed to be, this is government run. This is totally, this is America's version of RT to the world. What's, by the way, oh, this is just, <laughs> well, they're just giving a, a straight up uh, so far. Just, I mean, I don't know why this part is in here. So you got, you're already, you're 12 seconds into a 56 second video. 12 seconds into a 66 second video. And wh what was all that about, man? I didn't even say any of that, man. Seriously? <laughs> what does that even mean? This is the last time we don't have to do it. Man. Okay. I can't believe they didn't get any token Hispanics to, you know... <laughs> I'm very disappointed in this. My background music because it clicked out on me and I don't want that. I need that background music so that when I have to cough and I turn off the microphone, it's not dead air. Dang it! But I'm trundling forward. If I'm going to make these videos like I want to, I can't afford to edit them. So you guys get this. Donnie, okay. Let's continue. I don't know what that was, but you know what? I think that's worth reliving. What do you think? All right, let's see. Mm, stern. There, he looks credible, stern, presidential, and then he does this little uh, Beavis and Butthead thing. He's like if Beavis and Butthead were president, this is what they would do. <laughs> Bro. This time, I don't, I don't even understand that. What, the, what does? Are you kidding me? Who was he giving that power to? I want to know. I want to know who he gave that power to. All right. So this is, let's just see. I don't want to watch all this. Okay, this is just Donald signing. There it is. There's the signing. And then there's a little hand clappage. Oh, so this is, okay, I get why they showed the other thing then. I'll give them that. Uh, I should pick my nose and scream more often because I think people like that. Uh, uh, add in the comments down below if you like that. There it is. So that's VOA. All right. Michael Waltz, we saw him. I, I, I don't, by the way. I sub to everybody, like, because Tube Fire, I'm tracking all kinds of stuff. So, you know, I sub to Young Turks and uh, Stephen Crowder. But I won't really often sub to these Politico people. Their stuff is... Nope. Nope. CBS News. Let's see how CBS News does. What's, what's there? I'm going to give them 30 seconds. There's never been anything like it. Other countries are now looking at it, but there can't be a border like that because, believe it or not, that is by far the biggest border anywhere in the world in terms of economy, in terms of people. There's nothing even close. This is a colossal victory for our farmers, ranchers, energy workers, factory workers, and American workers in all 50 states. And you could almost say beyond because it's all beyond. This is all over the world, even though it's at one beautiful border where i don't know man if i was that one beautiful border the way donald is talking about me right now i would seriously wonder if like if when i go to the bathroom there are not cameras inside like watching my every move if i was that metaphorical border i would feel like perhaps a stalking was soon to come because donald seems to really have an unnatural unhealthy exaggerated attachment to the beautiful border i mean 
just a little weird. And there's there's there's, there's Mike Pence. Mike Pence looks like uh, basically what Mike Pence looks like is like the value-added Ken doll made in Vietnam that sold in the Dollar General store. <laughs> That's mean. I think Mike Pence can take it though. You know, I'm just I'm just making fun of you, my friend. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really making fun of you. Where, by the way, a very major, powerful wall is right now being built. Oh, okay. my gosh. I mean, how weird is that? Oh, anyway, you know what? I'm getting too trapped into this. All right. Okay, I got their 30 seconds. That's all they get, 30 seconds. Uh, but I, I, you know what? I got to say just one. I can't. I can't just let that slide. How schizophrenic you sound here. You know, we're, you know, trade and commerce and openness and war. I'm schizophrenic. I personally do not believe that we need a wall in Mexico. Mexico is, uh, or with Mexico. Mexico is like our cousin, man. We're like, we're cousins. I, I mean, like the, the nation, the nation, the, the, the American people and the Mexican people, man, we're all like cousins, man. Like the Mexican people as a, as a nation, not the ethnicity, because there are plenty of Mexicans in America that are Americans. I'm talking about the, the peoplehood. An American people is not the same as a Mexican people. There's differences, and it's, and it's nothing to do with race. It has to do with our American assumption, our American sense of entitlement around our, our Bill of Rights, really. That's fundamentally what makes us Americans, and that's just it's nothing to do with race. So... You know, but still, Mexicans, man, are like, they're our cousins. We're all like, you know, we've all kind of shared each other's stuff, sometimes took each other's stuff. America, looking at you. I mean, I'm not morally judging you. That's what happens with nation-statedness. But uh, I'm just saying, Mexico is like our people. We just got to, I think we have to help Mexico. One of the things we could do is legalize drugs. And uh, help Mexicans, uh, you know, Americans should help Mexicans have the resources they need to uh, deal with the pull, the folks that want to continue the uh, the blood sport that they're currently engaged in. Have the means to bring the blood to the blood sporter, so to speak. You know, help a brother out. In this day's, help a cousin out, man. Help a cousin out. You know? All right, let's see what PBS says. We were just talking about the USMCA, as it's called. Let's break down this trade agreement further and examine what was agreed to and what it means. Amna Nawaz has that part of the story for us. It's a victory for America's workers. It's Today's agreement would replace the 25-year-old North American Free Trade Agreement, first signed into law and hailed by President Bill Clinton. NAFTA will tear down trade barriers between our three nations. It will create the world's largest... I remember NAFTA uh, when it was coming into being, and uh, I remember I wanted so much to understand it. I think I had a better chance of understanding it then than I do now because I think the level of partisanship in the media wasn't as pervasive in all corners as it is now, although you had to have some degree of luxury and wealth to get access to maybe less fettered information, uh, less filtered, slanted uh, information. Like maybe if you subscribe to a high-level journal like Foreign Policy, Foreign Policy, I'm sure, probably had a write-up about this. Something like that. And I knew people that have ac had access to those things, so I had some degree of access. But even at that, it was still difficult for me to discern what fact and fiction was. I ultimately came to the conclusion that it, was, it wouldn't be beneficial to people like me, we the poors. And I remember I, I took a, a macroeconomics course as an adult, an, ad an older adult in my 30s. And part of the course was uh, writing uh, a final essay on my my position on the economic pragmatism of uh, the NAFTA deal. And my ultimate conclusion was that the trade-off, the alleged trade-off of uh, allowing people who could build things cheaper to build things cheaper was really just uh, shifting, I guess you could say, abuse. <laughs> 
worker abuse, if you will, is just finding a place that let you uh, treat people like pieces of human garbage. That's all it was. And ultimately, that's probably not going to be good for anyone. Probably was right. Okay, so they still got three seconds. This trade zone and create 200,000 jobs in this country. All right, that's all you get. I'm sorry, that's all you get. That's all you get. And Miss NBC, although this is a, just a live stream of it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the NBC. Oh, that's an NBC one. Okay, so this is a report, and this is by Vox. So we've got now this is actually from October 30th, 2018, but I want to give them 30 seconds to explain their version of USMCA versus NAFTA. This is an and the reason is because when I did the search for Trump USMCA signing, this is one of the results that came up uh, when you didn't have the time restriction on it 1993 chevy suburban and this is a 2018 chevy suburban the 1993 one cost twenty one thousand dollars brand new and the 2018 one cost forty seven thousand dollars but if we adjust the price for inflation the 1993 suburban would cost forty two thousand dollars today even though the 2018 model comes with modern features like a backup camera remote engine start and you know airbags the cost hasn't changed much in 25 years. It's not just the Suburban. The average price of new cars has risen only 7% since the early 90s, while the price for almost all... Okay, so they're starting off by, I guess, right away. It seems like they're... Oh, okay, so there's a NAFA major car cheaper. USMCA could change that. So that's their take. Okay. And so they start off. It's an appeal to having cheap stuff. Gotcha. And then we got uh, CNBC. This is looks like a report. It's 18 minutes. Let's give them 30 seconds. I want to seconds. thank everybody for coming coming to the White House on this very momentous, historic, and joyous occasion. It's uh, been a long time. Everybody said this was a deal that could not be done. Too complicated, too big, couldn't be done. We got it done. And today we're finally ending the NAFTA nightmare and signing into law. Looks like they the just brand new U.S. Mexico Canada agreement. Very special. Very, very special. Very, very special. Very special. Very very special. The USMCA is the large. I mean, this guy speaks to you like you're a freaking child. A child. It's not a good sign. See, it's not. It like, you know, if you're just like, you know, you're going shopping and you're clerk behind the counter is like you know that's a very very good watch it's a very good watch you should think about buying that's a very beautiful very good watch okay all right you're selling me that's whatever and you're talking to me like i'm a simpleton but whatever but when it's a guy that has a nuclear bomb sitting behind him metaphorically that's different <laughs> you don't want that guy talking to you like a child of course they all talk to you like that in various ways they all talk to us like we're children but still, let's go on. That was 30 seconds, so they chose to just focus on the key part in the first 30 seconds where he actually acknowledges the trade deal. Let's see what uh, Al Jazeera English. This was one of the ones that uh, got uh, a place. Al Jazeera English got one, and uh, that means that uh, Tim Pool didn't get one. That means that, uh, uh, oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, no, I, oh, man. What is his name? What's his face? House, MCRC, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. If you're progressive, you know what I'm talking about. He doesn't get that. He's kind of like the Tim Pool. And even the, the Tim Pool really does fundamentally serve conservatives. So even though he's not conservative, I'm going to say he's the, he's the Tim Pool of the left. Or, you know, others like that. But whether you're left, right, whatever, all these small independent creators, they're, they're, they're locked out of the conversation regarding the USMCA signing as far as YouTube search algorithms are concerned. They're not showing up here. Well, what is this top? Uh, now, you can get a, a small fracture of some of them when you search based on hourly. Uh, and uh, Let's see. Uh, dairy, farm, uh, but, but dairy farmer attends USMCA signing. Former Commerce Secretary Barbara Franklin. Don't care about that. Well, here's something. Lindy's North American Ag Radio Network. Well, said so there's a good independent voice. So, so if you want to be a part of this conversation, you you have to hope that the person clicks on last hour. 
Now, this doesn't always work. And I'll show you. Let's let's look at uh I just want to show this to you. There you go. Don Lemon CNN. Now, I have video from yesterday that will show you. When I did a search for Don Lemon CNN yesterday, all that came up was CNN. Now what comes up? You got Fox News. You got Fox Business, Fox News, Washington Examiner, CNN, CNN, Rick and Bubba, The View, CNN, Late Night with Seth Meyers, CNN, 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 CNN. The Rubin Report, CNN, 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 CNN. So they've they've given a few slots to other places, but very few. Still overwhelmingly CNN. Overwhelmingly Don Lemon CNN. That's what comes up. Let's do let's do Fox. Sean Hannity Fox. Let's see if they offer the same. I'll put Fox News because it's Fox News. I'll do that. Sean Hannity Fox News, Fox News, Fox News. Washington Post, MSNBC, Washington Post. Uh, I don't even. Uh, Extra TV, Trump, Trump. Look, look, look at this. Like, there's a Fox News. There's a Fox News. Fox News. Fox News, Fox News, Fox News, Fox News. Yeah. So. Interesting. <clears throat> Might not mean anything, but I'm going to keep tracking it. But I tell you the truth. Yesterday, Don Lemon, CNN. These top news results, nothing but CNN. I don't know how long it was that way, but here, let's let's check and see if they've released this one. Don Lemon mocks Trump supporters. And now, all of a sudden, it's not just CNN anymore. Whereas yesterday, day before, uh, oh, yeah, yesterday, it was all CNN. And I have video documentation now. Put the link to that video in the description below. So I want very much to understand what's going on, and I don't know who to trust. And finding these resources is incredibly difficult. YouTube, one of the most heavily searched places. And if you want to find a current conversation, unless you know where to look, and it's getting even increasingly harder at that, You're, you're, good luck. You're, you're simply the product of uh, someone's <laughs> narrative. They treat you like a child, like someone that can't be trusted to form their own opinion. They feel the need to form it with you, for you rather, by using deception, whatever they can. Uh, lies, half truths, convenient omissions, to assure that you think what they want you to think, not to be a service that allows the you in tube to actually be YouTube. Can't be YouTube on YouTube anymore. 